Tell tonight in a horrific crash in northwest Harris County that left three people dead and two injured. Investigators say speed and alcohol played a role. It happened off of FM 529 in Fairview this morning. Tonight, one victim is in critical condition. Channel 2's Bill Barajas live with the very latest details. Bill? And that victim in that black pickup, as you mentioned, remains here at Memorial Hermann in critical condition. The suspected drunk driver is also in the hospital. He is in serious condition, and we're told charges against him could be filed as early as tomorrow morning. It was a horrific scene. Three people dead, two severely injured, and not out of the woods just yet. I hate to even say it, but a body count of this magnitude, you know, in a one, one crash, it's, it's very sobering. Sean Tier, the chief of the Harris County DA's Office of Vehicular Crimes Division, says the crash happened at about 8 this morning on FM 529 near Fairview. We had an individual who's simply trying to turn into a gas station, and we have another car who's traveling at a, what, we, what we believe is a very high rate of speed, crashes into him, kills three people in his own car, um, and is potentially going to kill the driver of that truck as well. And what we learned hours later is that he was intoxicated. The driver of that black pickup was ejected from his vehicle. The suspected drunk driver in the Honda now facing the potential for several serious charges. I anticipate us filing three intoxication manslaughter charges against the driver of that silver Honda and one intoxication assault. A witness at the scene says this sort of accident is nothing new on FM 529. Gregoria Mendoza says someone always dies when there's a crash here. Tier says because a crash happened so early this morning, they believe the driver of the Honda might have been at an after-hours bar. If we can find that place, we're going to not only arrest everyone involved in that, in that establishment, we're going to seek an injunction and close the entire bar. And that suspected drunk driver is anticipated to face three intoxication manslaughter charges and one intoxication assault charge. That intoxication assault charge could be upgraded if the victim here from that black pickup at Memorial Hermann does not survive. Live from the Texas Medical Center, Bill Barajas, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Bill, thank you. Tonight